Hello friends, we know that gold is expensive metal for all time, but why? Today in this video, we will know 5 primary reasons why gold has been valuable since it was first discovered and why it will retain its value into the future. Let's have a look at them. The first reason, gold, is valuable is linked to its physical properties that render it ideal for use as money. In the days of early man, barter was the most common means of trade. But as huts evolved into houses and villages grew into towns, the need for a standardized form of money also grew. Almost anything can be used as money, though obviously some things work better than others. Over thousands of years, gold emerged as the best form of money. It is a bit puzzling why gold's chemical properties are seen as superior to other metals. After all, when compared to gold, silver has far more industrial uses. Copper is much more plentiful and has superior electrical conductivity. Platinum and palladium are both more rare and the best known metals to reduce harmful auto emissions. So what makes gold so valuable chemically? Here's why mankind chose it over other assets. Gold cannot be destroyed by water. It doesn't rust or tarnish. Time. Coins remain recognizable after a thousand years. Fire. Minimum 1945.4 degrees F to melt. There is no superstition here. It's just common sense. Gold has the ideal chemical properties to serve as money and a good store of value just as. Aluminum is good for making aircraft. Steel is good for building structures. Uranium is good as nuclear fuel. And paper is good for making books. Of the 118 elements in the periodic table, gold is arguably the most attractive to the human eye. And of the noble elements, most are silvery in color, except for copper, which corrodes and discolors when exposed to moisture. This is another core reason. Gold has been successful as money, it captivates. Analysts' negative view on gold will often recite a popular and shop-worn myth. Gold is not a good long-term investment. That mistaken belief usually rests on a short-term look at gold by critics that are biased toward owning stocks. The alternative to using gold coins as money has been paper currencies. Government FII currencies, those backed by nothing but trust in the issuing authority, are a relatively new invention. And none of them have lasted for long. Eventually, they have all failed. Gold's purpose is as a long-term store of value and as insurance against crisis and inflation. History shows it has done just that. Gold is the only financial asset that is not simultaneously someone else's liability. Gold does not require the backing of any bank, government, or brokerage firm. Gold cannot suffer a default or its value fall to zero. No counterparty risk means that once you have physical gold in your possession, you do not depend on someone else to fulfill a contract or keep a promise for it to retain its value. Gold has specific financial attributes that make it highly valuable. What other assets deliver the following qualities? Gold has no time limit. Most metal is still in existence. Shelf life. It never rusts, silver does. Counterparty risk. Remember Greece and Cyprus bank customers? As money, gold is liquid. Easily convertible to cash. Portable. You can hold $50,000 in a small coin tube. Divisible. Splitting up diamonds changes their value. Durable. How long would wheat last as money? Consistent. One piece of real estate is always different than another. Gold cannot be printed. It takes a mine 10 years to go from discovery to production. Counterfeited. You can try, but technology will catch it every time. Inflated. It can't be reproduced by the whim of a central banker. Gold is valuable because it has intrinsic financial traits that no other asset does.